Hi, this is Manny with OrganizationStation.com. My phone number is there, area code 520-825-3025. Another unique, interesting uh, project here. This is uh, one of the franchise companies you'll find a lot on the Internet. Uh, they're the newest ones out there, but they're making the biggest imprint on their marketing campaign. They're all across the country, but their design, I've always said, is just a, you know, a, a better mousetrap. If you look at all the companies out there, the franchise companies, they all build a European type cabinet, and you've seen that in previous videos. What this company did is they finished the interior where a lot of them don't. This one decided to do that, and they use one inch thick shelves. Now that's the real claim to fame. They'll tell everybody, we use one inch thick shelf, it's much stronger, but if you take a look in that video clip, you can tell it has a little bow to it. So it's the design that really gives the cabinet strength. If you could see the back of this cabinet, there's no pin supports there. So you have four support points, left side and right side. Mother Nature and gravity is relentless. So there's always going to be a force pulling it down and without the proper reinforcement you'll get this kind of shelf sag. Well in this case what we have here is a another problem that's associated with the cabinet that don't have doesn't have legs. They've added legs. Didn't they add legs to this? That they wasn't done, legs. right? They, they added, the, last, the last time one broke. Okay. I was going to say because usually they're in their marketing they material, had one leg. they you know talk about their cabinets being elevated off the floor so you can wash out underneath them because water doesn't mix well with the you know, press board, especially low grade press board. So they've added this to their systems, and people who have the cabinets that don't have reinforcement on the floor are going to find problems where all the weight is being uh, put, uh, all the weight on the cabinets being put on the cleats that you have here, and uh, these cleats broke. And uh, this was the second one, right? This is the second one. Yeah. It broke because the way the cabinets uh, attach to the wall, you see these holes here? They screw through this back, which is purely aesthetic. It's, you can see it. It's only a quarter inch thick. And um, it's not even screwed onto the cabinet. It's just dadoed into the sides. There it is being removed. There's the bottom cleat strip that you see down there. That's what they anchor to the wall with. So all the weight that goes in this cabinet is, is being attached to these cleat strips. You don't see them because this style has a back. But, you know, the back is just aesthetic. Let me show you this clip of our cabinet. It has a back that's 5 eighths thick, which is integral to the design of the cabinet and strength because the side is screwed all the way down the length of the back. And then, you know, the dado sh uh, shelves are dadoed into the side, like you see here. That way, the shelf is, you know, reinforced and strong and sturdy so get an idea what the differences are but you know I just wanted you to see this for yourself because you know I feel the design is very important to the cabinet I know price is always nice but you sometimes have to pay for things twice if you go with a system that just doesn't have long-term built into it uh, so that's what can happen and here's the remnants of of that um, want any, any comments or anything you want to say? You've had I to. Buy, I wouldn't buy these again, <laughs> again. knowing now it's no, no, I bought the house with the Haddam, and I'm suffering with the consequences of of the inadequate design. Yep. Well, we'll fix them. We're going to replace that section with our uh, Storall brand cabinet, and I'll show you some pictures of the after, so you can see that you know there's. Aesthetically, there's not much difference, and price-wise, I'm sure these were probably in the 450 range, a four-foot section, and mine are 350, and then 30 dollars to install it, so 380, and it's built this way. So uh, we'll get we'll get this taken care of, and I'll you know tune back with you, and we'll see how uh, we can go about helping you add storage space to your place. Thank you.